Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with the timeless reading. Welcome. As this is a timeless reading, it can resonate with you whenever you are ready for it to. We're starting off with the with the Eight of Swords and also Justice. It looks like something is about to be taking place. May not be time for this, but it's nearly time is what it looks like, like something is about to happen here. When Justice came out, on the bottom of the deck was Six of Wands. So this is something where you feel like the odds sort of turn in your favor, but it's less odds and more so something that would have been something that would have needed to be made right or something that was off balance or something where like the scales were tipping in a way where there was like a lack of harmony something like that i see this particular justice card too as being like a balance of duality as well so like when we talk about duality when it comes to things that feel like they're opposite from one another, it's like two sides of the same coin. So this is a card of balance. So whatever it was that was going on before, where it could have been like leaning too far on this side or leaning too far on this side, this thing is gonna like bring things back into balance. But having this card here first, it's like, it feels like it's about to happen, but it like hasn't happened yet. But you see that the butterfly is like already formed within here. So it's just like a matter of time before this basically breaks out. And justice is going to be served. And I'm seeing the tower be here. So this can be coming about in a way that felt really unexpected. This can be something suddenly that's happening. But this is the type of tower that like brings things back into harmony. But with the tower, it can be like something falling. It can be like an empire falling, whether this be like something in your personal life, it can be something going on socially, it can be a mix of those things. Lots of different ways that this can be. Because also too, the tower is connected with Mars, and I'm also seeing justice here. This is like, action being taken for something to be made right and with the tower it's like um this is inevitable that this is going to be happening some of you the process is beginning this may be something that you're beginning to see if you have not begun to see this already There's a stabilizing nature, which almost seems like, how can that be if we have the tower, which can potentially be about things being like the dissemination of things. It can be the destruction of things, but it's ultimately going to bring about a sense of balance and stability as well. Like I see this card being one where everything's sort of like working in the way that it's supposed to, where there's a sense of like, there's a symbiotic nature to things. So stuff can also be like set up correctly, like the way that it's supposed to be. When maybe things had been going in a way that like it was out of balance with nature. Now this is the rebalancing of things. So it can, this feels like, like spinning properly, like functioning properly. And you see other, like these different pieces, but they make a shape together. There are also the individual pieces and they also like function with one another. And so it feels like every piece has a part to play. And also each piece is part of like a bigger process that's taking place, even though it has its own process in a micro way, in a macro way, there's also something that's going on where like all of these pieces are connected too. So it feels like this is going to allow something to function properly in the way that it's meant to be functioning in a way that maybe 
one had gotten away from or like society had got, gotten away from whatever it was like some type of structure had gotten away from this or some type of system had gotten away from this and now the system this is like to to allow the system to function properly the way that it's meant to be I do get the feeling of almost like waiting around for this that like it's going to take place but it feels like we're just waiting just waiting for this to happen like when is it going to come out like when is this going to come out when is it going to take place like when is this going to emerge like that type of thing but it feels like this is going to be a big deal with the tower here I'm also hearing something, for some of you, there's going to be something financially that's going on, too. Once this emerges, whatever is waiting with the first energy that came out, it's like on on like a universal time frame. So this is going to happen right when it's supposed to. Whenever it is that this takes place, I'm seeing that there's going to be like a path basically that unfolds that's connected with this. And it may also be something that's like middle of the way as well. Because justice too, with this sense of like polarity and duality, there may be sort of a, like an integration of things of like moving more into the middle rather than it feeling like off balance again, where it's like leaning too far this way, leaning too far this way. There may be something that's like a middle of the way type of path. So it can feel like there's that sense of balance and like necessary coverage of everything like all sides of everything. Okay. Something is closing out here. The wait is soon to be over, I'm seeing, but this could have been something that felt like, like how long are we gonna have to wait for this? I'm seeing temperance, it's like just a little bit while longer things are as things are moving into place this tower feels like it's going to be there's going to be a lot that's connected with this to have the tower connected with temperance and also too like in this temperance it reminds me of like blood sweat and tears like you see the fire you see the water and temperance is also about like adjusting adjusting integrating patience as a process is taking place too, allowing things to happen in the way that they're meant to be happening it looks as well like there's healing because we have ten of swords come out and then temperance following this so it means like the the pain basically or like the damage that's been accrued temperance when this tower happens it's like the it can feel like the beginning of this process where things are being like put back or put right and having temperance be out here it's it's a connected with like the time that it's going to take for this like process basically to take place so it's not just like all of this has been accrued over time like these are lots of different things that have happened so having the tower come out it's going to feel like like boom, like the beginning of something that's taking place where things are being put on the right path. And then temperance is about like the journey of that part then, but also too with this in mind, like knowing that this is like the right way of things, that this is like the balanced way of things, that this is the harmonious way of things like that.
with temperance too i'm seeing it be like the path is going to reveal itself essentially because it looks like this is there's there's a new path that's going to be highlighted that's going to feel obvious that this is the way that we're moving to have ten of swords it's like finally something that has been feeling very difficult and challenging and stressful and taxing is closing out and then temperance is like the as we said before like the balancing sort of of this process and the time that it's going to take and the effort that it's going to take and the adjusting so it's like this new way sort of that's being formulated after something could even be like wiped clean or it can fall away completely or even like with this tower particularly you don't see the whole thing falling down like you may see in other tower cards with this it can just be like the pieces that need to be taken out of this so it can be like whatever's corrupted is falling away but like the rest of the structure is going to stay and then that's what's then going to be worked with after the fact and it's in hopes of stabilizing because after the tower falls it's going to be that whatever shouldn't have been being added to this structure is going to basically like fall away to then allow it to be stable and to work properly in the way that it's supposed to. And I'm also seeing the high priestess too, which can mean that there's, there's like a way that this is gonna fall into place, but you're going to, it's gonna be like an intuitive way sort of of doing things. So that can also mean that there's a leaning more on like intuition, leaning more on our connection with our higher selves, like that type of thing where it's like, there may not be obvious directions, but there is like a blueprint and it's going to be an intuitive blueprint to know how to get this to work in the way that it's supposed to. And that may be part of like leaning in that direction that is connected with the high priestess too. It feels like there's like this acknowledgement that we knew that this was coming with, with these two cards here. Like this is the beginning and the end of the spread so far. You see how the high priestess is like just waiting for this to happen. Like I know that this is going to happen. It's just a matter of time before this emerges. And this is going to kickstart the process. And it is a path that is being pursued. This is the this is the Knight of Wands. This is the path that's going to be pursued that's connected with the Ten of Pentacles. So it, it means like passionately going in the direction and like the path being laid out of something that is going to be like stable then so the tower is not going to need to touch it because it's not going to need to be brought into balance because the way it's going to be working is a balanced system to have justice here the government can be involved in this there can be like communities involved in this to have temperance here which is connected with i mean both Libra and Sagittarius, which are like connecting here within this spread, both of them can have to do with like government and societies and communities and things like that. So even though this can be something that, again, like could be happening in one's personal life, like there can be like a restoration even of something, you may also see this reflected on like a more grand scale as well. Because there will be like echoes of this energy that are happening. So it can happen like in a, in a singular setting it can happen in a personal setting. It can also be reflected and like mirrored in a collective setting as well. So it can be like all of the above. It's like all and rather than either or. This is where things are heading. It feels like like a look into the future. 
this is three of wands and it's like three of wands is connected with like the future where we're going progress the direction of things and it feels like when you put these together that you can sort of like see into it like seeing into the future and especially too because the high priestess was the last card that came out so there's also being able to see that like what's happening and where things are going so i feel too like this may this may not be like immediate right it may not be immediate right now in this moment but this is going to be happening is what this feels like so just know just know that if stuff starts happening and you're seeing things that like the tower has to come first something's going to happen something's going to emerge then i'm seeing the tower happen which means that something emerges and then because justice is coming through and that's sort of like the force that's working through things tower means that like any of like the rotten pieces like this is feeling kind of like a plutonic type of energy to me it means that anything that is like corrupt essentially anything that is like out of alignment or out of balance with like the the natural way of things like the Tao of things or like the dharmic path those things are going to be going to fall away so there's going to be that period where things do it looks like like things are falling apart you know it's it's the same notion that when a lot of things start coming to light people can be looking at the news or like whatever is going on the information sources and be like it's worse than it's ever been but it's not it's just that we're like lifting up the rug and seeing the dirt underneath that's always been there the whole time it had just been covered up before so it feels like one of those moments where it's like we're just all seeing what had been going on so it had been like pulled back like the veil has been pulled back so we're seeing these things so it can feel like at first it's like big and like things are falling apart or like a deconstruction is happening um however having the ten of pentacles it's like this is how we build things though in a solid way then so this type of thing doesn't happen so it doesn't need to be taken apart again so just know that if you see things start to look like it's falling apart to not panic or buy into like the fear of things but rather to know that this is actually what is needed within the process to allow things to stabilize so it's going to stabilize okay so that's what's going to be happening is what i'm seeing So you don't need to worry because some of you I'm seeing there can be like there can be lots of different feelings that you're having that are associated with like the future the future of things where things are going what's going to be happening and there can be anxiety about that because it's like well what's going to emerge from here but it's actually something that's going to be transformative this is about transformation and it's also about too with temperance like transmuting the energy as well so when you're feeling energy that's coming up that's fear-based, it's about transmuting it in a way where you're sort of tuning to a different station, if you prefer to. And that's also going to be part of this too. So it's connected as well with like what you're subscribing to and what channel you're tuned to and what you're consuming. Some of you, you're gonna start getting more, more like clear messages or messages more often. I'm almost like this high priestess is looking almost like in a trance state to me. So there may be some stuff that's gonna be coming through. Know too that like this is your truth, right? Like this is this is your path. This is your truth. This is what feels genuine to you those types of things i'm seeing five of wands on the bottom of the deck not everybody's going to see this not everybody's going to agree with you there can be conflict about this that also means too that there are like there are going to be different stations that can be tuned to let's say like all of us are looking at the same thing but people are going to describe it differently the people that are looking at it from a a lens of fear it's gonna sound scary you know people that are looking at it that feel like a sense of peace and understanding about it that's gonna be 
like a different narration so just know that just be mindful be aware of sort of like the different lenses that this can be seen through and what you're leaning into all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in i'm sending everybody love and i hope to catch you guys next time